Okay, so now a few more things about our osmosis lab that we did the other day. So we have prepared different sucrose solutions. You can see they had different molarities, zero, which was pure water, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and one. And then we put the carrots into these solutions and then we kept them overnight and then we waited them to see about the mass change. So we actually got initial mass the night before and then 24 hours later, we, we amassed our carrots again to find the final mass. So we calculated the percent change in mass and now we have our numbers here. So the next thing you wanna do here is generate a graph and notice that change, percent change in mass is gonna go on the y-axis and then the molarity, solution molarity, will go on the x-axis. So we have 0, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, and so on. And then we have to plot individual data points as so. So we have 0 and 48. So here's your 0 molarity, 48% change. 0 0.2 molarity, 40% change. So you're going to put all your data points. And then generate a line of best fit. So now, when you generate the line of best fit, watch to see where the line intersects the zero. So you can see your zero is right here, and it looks like it's intersecting this point at 0.6 molarity. This point is going to tell you that your carrot did not increase in mass and did not decrease in mass. So the carrot was sitting in isotonic, isotonic solution. So that means this is the osmolarity of the actual carrot. So you do this graph to be able to determine this.